In this video I'm going to show you how to make a graffiti wall in Adobe Photoshop. We're going to simply get a picture of Snoop and blend him in with the brick wall here and we're also going to put a bit of our own graffiti text on top of the wall as well. I'm sure you can come up with a much better slogan than what I've got there. We will begin today in Photoshop by opening up the picture of Snoop and the picture of the brick wall. Okay, and on the Snoop picture what we need to do first of all is just select Snoop so we can cut him out of this picture. Quick way to do it is with the quick selection tool. Just press W for the keyboard shortcut or go and grab it from your toolbox now. And just start clicking and dragging over the top of Snoop. You want to get the chair in the background as well, so don't be afraid to grab that. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I think I've got most of him now. If you did make any mistakes, like you might have gone outside the lines a little bit, you can grab your minus paintbrush at the top here and deselect parts that you didn't want to select. Okay, so once you've got it looking pretty good, it's just a matter of going up to Edit and Copy, going over to your brick wall, and going Edit paste and you'll see that it pastes in on a new layer called layer 1. I might rename that to Snoop. Now it is quite small so what you need to do is grab your move tool from your toolbox ensure that you've got show transform controls at the top selected and hold down shift to resize him. You want to put him in the bottom left of the page here so you pretty much level with the footpath and make him a reasonable size on the left. As you resize he will become pixelated but what you can do is click the tick at the top just to apply that transformation and his overall quality comes out pretty nicely. So the first thing we want to do to Snoop is change the levels a little bit just to brighten this picture up. So we're going to go up to Image, Adjustments and Levels or you can just press Control L for the keyboard shortcut. What you want to do is move the middle lever up a little bit and move this end lever on the right up a bit as well just to bring out a bit more brightness in the picture of Snoop. When you're happy with how bright it is click on OK. And the next thing I want you to do is pop on over to the blend mode for this layer. And I want you to choose multiply. It's starting to blend him in with the background. At the moment he doesn't look like he's been painted on. So to do that we go up to our image menu, select adjustments and choose the threshold filter. And you start to see he looks a bit more like he's been painted on now and you can adjust this lever to work out how much white you want to show or how much black you want to show. Now you still want to make out that it's him so you want to show a bit of white. Somewhere near the 100 mark I think it's going to look good, maybe a little bit over. Click OK when you're done. Now the last thing we need to do to Snoop is just change the opacity, just drop it down to about 80, 85% just so it shows a bit of the brick wall beneath it. And it looks like it's been painted on. Might even go to 90%. Okay, so that's looking pretty good so far. The next thing we want to do is get the text tool and put some text in. Okay, you can go on the internet and download some graffiti fonts. And that's what I've done here. I've chosen a font called Street Soul. When I click on the page, it will start to come out looking like graffiti. Okay, so using my move tool, I will move that text over to the right hand side. By right clicking on that stay in school layer, you can go to your blending options and start playing around with the colours for this. So I might choose a gradient overlay like I did in the example. I just chose these three colours here, the blue, red and yellow. Other things you do is add a glow around the outside of the text. So we've got an outer glow coming now. I might choose white for our outer glow and our opacity to 100%. Might bump our size up a little bit too. Okay, that looks pretty good. Another thing we can do with this text is just drop the opacity like we did with the picture of Snoop. Okay, you're doing a little bit see-through, just so it looks real. Around that 80 to 90% mark looks good. So that's basically it for a graffiti wall. If you wanted to, you could grab a rubber or the eraser tool and just rub out any parts of Snoop that you aren't quite happy with. 
but I'm actually pretty happy with that, so I'm just going to leave it as is. When you're finished, go to the file menu, save for web, and make sure you choose JPEG at high or very high quality. I'd probably just go high quality for this one. And that's all we have to do to make graffiti wall.